10 hut hey guys general spatten here today i'm doing a video response to mad Gollum. he has a hundred subs contest going right now where the contest is talk about your favorite conversion and why and how you did it well this i'm not known for my conversions but i got one that i'm pretty proud of and this is it if you remember this is headshot from way back when uh something i did couple of years ago uh, really proud of uh, basically the conversion on the uh, Crusader here I'll talk a little about it this in a minute but uh, just want to say uh, way to go buddy uh, continue putting out those videos and I'm sure you're gonna grow uh, as time goes by uh, also he helped me with something that I want to share with all with you all before I forget have a lot of people asking me where can I get uh, Reaper Master Series paints in the European market and he said that the only place he knew of was called battlefield-berlin.de you see the uh, name there so head over to uh, their site and if you're interested in purchasing some Reaper paints uh, perhaps that will be a source for you or if you guys that watch this know of any uh, other European sources or UK sources, um, please uh, let me know in the comments or put up a video response to my video so that we can get the word out uh, so that you find folks across the seas can uh, experience the greatness that is Reaper Master Series. So let's go in for some closer looks. All right, I have the pistol wraith here. Uh, this wasn't all that big a conversion. He's just cut off the head, put another head on, uh, glued the head right there. Even though if he had been drop kicked, it would have been kicked halfway to Kingdom Come. I had to show, you know, the relationship of what the diorama is and what went on. So I just did it that way. Uh, so I put this arm and I had to cut it and then reposition it, and do some little green stuff here. Well, what's really neat to me about it is that I took a uh, army painter tuft and put it down here then I used a big piece of uh, brass right there painted it to look similar to the grass so it's really camouflaged in there so as it's sitting down it looks like he's really floating above the base so that's uh, something I'm proud of now for the uh, big guy for the crusader here I gave myself the added challenge that if uh, not only would it be a diorama, but also the pieces are removable as you see. The reason being, uh, maybe one of these days I'll look up and play some games and I could pull these figures out and uh, be able to play with them. So it was an added challenge. So I have the wall here that I constructed across, but I can pull this piece out like so and then plop it on the table. Now, when I initially uh, did this, um, the hard part and the only thing that's really converted is this arm and this leg because this leg had to be outstretched to show that he was jumping over the uh, wall and drop kicking the pistol wraith so I had to uh, cut in here and then drill in and I actually used two pieces of uh, coat hanger up through this hand and then uh, I used lead right there to uh, drill through to anchor the base you see another piece there I put that in for added security. After I got through positioning the model and putting on the base, I didn't really need this piece, but I th it, it balanced itself out perfectly. But I thought I'd put one in there just to be on the safe side. So, I mean, it stands up. This is the metal model. It's not the uh, plastic one. So I had to uh, cut at the shoulder, bring it down. And then for the wall, I used just some uh, little block that I had uh, that were plaster but I had to create this green stuff pylon to put it in there and then I had to position it in such a way and get all the other blocks lined up so that it would insert itself back into the wall into the diorama so uh, really neat with how it turned out really proud of it the paint job still holds up pretty well I'm still pleased with the paint job that I did on it so um, and that's my best conversion one I'm really really proud of so as I put it back in 
there you go it's all back to one piece again so something uh, I really spent a lot of time on and something that uh, I really uh, enjoyed making and still enjoy looking at to this day so uh, thank you buddy for the contest we wish you complete success and much more to come um, and you guys thank you for uh, supporting me and also supporting him so if you got any questions about this uh, seeing this oldie but to me it's still a goodie uh, let's talk about it this is General Splatten and I'll talk again dismissed